y'all. This is Chris from uh, one.net. I'm here with Beacon. Uh, so we'll be talking about uh, the new features in the software. And I'm here with Bob. Let me go ahead and introduce Bob here for you. Hi, I'm Bob from Beacon. Uh, we're, we've got a couple of new features going on this year. We've got uh, really three that we're going to focus on. Motor club billing, automatic motor club billing. Um, integration of uh, up to 13 motor clubs through our Magic Pro and also integration with uh, multiple GPS's, uh, including the TomTom -Tom work program where we can dispatch the calls right to the handheld unit, allowing the drivers to uh, timestamp the calls from the handheld. Uh, the first thing that we're going to show here is uh, motor club billing. We're actually going to use some live uh, data from a customer. Uh, right now, cross country is the, is the uh, motor club that we're working with uh, uh, right now going live. And we're processing now around uh, 12 to 15 calls a minute. So once you've verified that the call is correct, everything about the call is correct, every, all the information, now you don't have to spend all that time doing the data entry into Argosy. Uh, we do all that for you. Um, the customer I got up here is a customer of ours. And uh, what I'm going to do is just simulate uh, only a couple of calls just to make it quick. But basically, he's already verified all the calls that are, uh, all the pricing is correct. And I'm just going to hit send, and from there the pro program is going to do all the data entry for him, get the confirmation from Argosy that that invoice was submitted correctly, and once it's done, then you get that green check mark, or like the other ones went through. So those three calls went through; they've been invoiced properly. He's done with it; doesn't have to do anything else. On some of the calls where there's something missing, a, a purchase order number, or if, you know, I think in this case, this call here was a. Uh, a toe that turned into a jump start. He's got to edit that call, make the changes, and be done with it. But uh, again, he doesn't have to log into Argosy anymore to do all that stuff. So that's the one uh, process with the motor clubs. We are looking to add more motor clubs here this fall, hopefully by Baltimore. We'd like to have uh, about three or four more motor clubs done as long as testing and engineering gets completed. Um, our goal this year is to make sure that you guys, as towers and roadside guys, can uh, get their uh, invoices done efficiently and accurately and get 100% of your work done and build uh, so these motor clubs uh, you know, pay you on, and on time for all the work you've done. Uh, so that's the motor club building. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch back out of that into a dummy. Uh, database and demonstrate uh, some of the uh, some of the Tone Magic Pro the interface. Like I said, we've got uh, 13 motor clubs that we're interfacing with. Um, let me get uh, let me bounce out of here. This. Uh, and we're dealing with a little bit of internet here issues, so they're a little bit slower than normal internet speed. Uh, we, uh, like I said, we now incorporate uh, digital dispatching now with up to 13 motor clubs, uh, four of which are still fully automated, cross-country, all-state signature, and USAC. Um, but the other motor clubs, we can either go through AAA through their D2000 program or through faxes from them. Um, then on top of that, we've got, uh, if I can remember them all, we've got Asurian, CoachNet, Geico, uh, NSD, Quest, Road America, uh, and I, I know I'm going to forget one, uh, but those are the, the major ones, plus, like I said, AAA. Um, and I'm going to simulate a AAA call getting printed in to show the, the efficiency of that and, and the speed at which uh, that information is done once we get logged in here. I've got a, a little test call that I dump in uh, from, my, uh, from my program. Um, on the AAA, the D2000, it's not an automatic system with them. Uh, we would love to do that, but in the time being, what you do is print the call, and uh, instead of printing the call to a, a local printer, you're actually printing the printing the call to our uh, an internet printer, which is our servers, and then from there we grab the data and, and you, uh, import the data into the call for you. And uh, again, unfortunately, we're dealing with a slow internet here at the hotel, so we're uh, waiting for this to log in. Um, then also, like I said, the last connection that we've done is integration in with uh, the various GPS companies. I, I forget how many numbers of GPS companies we're showing now, but uh, all the different stages. Some of them are just location only, uh, and some of them are uh, uh, two-way text messaging as well. The one that we're featuring today is going to be the TomTom Tom work, uh, and we've incorporated a partnership uh, through them through Traxxas GPS. Uh, and so what will happen is, is now as you dispatch the call, you can not only dispatch a call to a driver's cell phone, 
um, through text messaging or email, but now you can also do that and send it to a TomTom -tom unit. And then the nice thing about that is, is that uh, the driver gets then the turn-by-turn -turn navigation to the job. And on top of that, you start getting real-time updates as well about the status of that driver, where they're at, when the PTOs are engaged. Also along the way with the ETA, uh, you'll actually get actual time of arrivals and updated ETAs on the drivers, just like any other navigation GPS as they kind of tell you based on road traffic. Um, your time now is instead of 20 minutes, it's now 25 minutes. Same thing happens with that, which then uh, will alert the uh, dispatcher and allow them to possibly call the customer and let them know, hey, the driver's going to be a little bit late and, and tell them why. So now the drivers don't have to call back to the dispatcher and tell them what's going on. Give me one more second, Chris. And, uh, and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is now that we've got our dispatch screen up, you can, um, what we'll notice here is the calls are in waiting. Um, those will be dispatched out. What I'm going to do is actually minimize this for a second and pull up a AAA call. I just got to find my AAA, uh, uh, AAA jobs. Okay, here's my uh, job. Here's a customer. This is just a D2000 printout. And what I'm going to do is click my printer, come through, click the Beacon Job Importer. And you can also set up the D2000 so that it automatically prints. But they'll notice that down here that that printer's automatically rolling. And as I pull up Dispatch Anywhere, once that call is imported, there it is in my dispatching screen. Logged in, ready to go. I notice it, so as a dispatcher, I can just come in and double click on that call. And they'll notice that uh, just like all our other digital calls, all that information is dumped into the call from that dispatch, from that fax, from that email, or in the case of the D2000, from that email. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw my services in there. It'll price up the services for me. Let me clear this dialog box. So the services will be set already based on the pricing. I can also calculate my mileage. Make sure that those addresses are correct. Calculate the mileage. It's going to calculate the mileage and give me a price on that call. Once I close it, uh, save and close that call. And now that call will be, uh, once that's closed, that call will be ready for dispatch. So now it no longer is it in yellow, it's now in red. Or uh, it's ready to go. So I'm just going to come over and grab my driver. And uh, grab me as a driver. I'm going to drag him out and drop him on the call. Sign and send them. Now that will go out to not only myself, but it's also going to go out to my TomTom -tom unit once that clears out of there. And I'm just waiting for the uh, process to go through. So now my TomTom -tom unit has uh, alerted me that I've got a message. And that's what my little message symbol is here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little message. And it's going to be give me the text messaging. Uh, let me know all the information about that call. Okay. And as I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and agree to the call. And I want to go ahead and start the order. So it's going to now figure out, do I want to start navigating it? Yes, I do. Um, Okay, I've got to continue to update my map, so I apologize. Uh, no, I don't need to arrive at a particular time. We'll just get this going. So now what it's doing is it's figuring out my direction. So we're down here in Cincinnati at the Ohio Show, so it's trying to take me up to uh, Worcester, Ohio, which is about uh, three and three and a half hours away, or four hours according to this, or three hours according to the system. But if you, uh, if we swing over to back over to the dispatch screen, uh, if I can get Chris to do that, what you'll see is this call is now timestamped automatically as en route. So now as a dispatcher, I haven't talked to anybody. I now know that my dispatcher is, uh, has done that and he's on his way. Okay. Um, what I'll do is, as a driver though, from the TomTom, -tom, is I can also go back to and uh, pull up the, uh, let's see here, um, from the orders, I can look at that order and go to, oops, I'm gonna go back and go to status. And I have the ability to send back all the different information from this call, whether it's a VIN number, a ticket number, uh, odometer, PO, payment method. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff there. And all that information goes back to, through the TomTom, -tom, back into the Dispatch Anywhere system and update the fields for those calls as they go. Uh, so as a driver, what I'm going to do is come up and say that I, I've arrived at my pickup location, or which is the incident location, and the timestamp will get um, stamped right away for that they've arrived. Um, I'm 
Sorry, Chris. I'm just looking to see. I think it already had stamped me. I was looking at the wrong one. Nope, there it just it just updated to the top call has arrived. So now I know that the call has been arrived and the job's there. Now as a driver, I can then start my second order, which is my instant location to my destination. Um, and so what I'll go ahead and do to my orders is go to my second order and agree to that. Start that order and suspend that order. Start navigating it. No. And once we do that, it'll it'll stamp that call that the driver has left the scene or loaded on the scene and ready to depart uh, from the scene for uh, heading off to the uh, destination. Um, and then as we go through, we can also go through and. Uh, Second, go back to active order here, and I can go ahead and uh, start the order, and then I can say, um, now I'm going to go ahead and arrive at the at the des destination location just to get through that, and then from there I can then finish the call and finish out the order. Um, so go to active order, and actually I forgot to finish the first order, so. And if I wanted to delete the order, I could do that, or I could just say no and uh, finish out. And once I finish that call, it will then synchronize with the system and then uh, and clear it out of there. But it will also update my, uh, my fields if I had entered any more information for the system, updated that information and, and updated those fields. So it makes the paperwork side of the system a lot easier, which then also adds into the uh, motor club billing. So now the dispatchers or the managers don't have to spend as much time reviewing every call that you do in order to get that call invoice properly and get that out the door so that you get your re revenue uh, turned quicker. I know motor clubs don't pay as quick as, uh, you know, you can't bill them every day and get paid every couple of days, but at least this way as you go through your daily process, you're on top of everything and you're, you're getting your work done quickly, efficiently, accurately getting more done with less energy uh, as, as you do the job so that's those are the things that we've come up with this year we're always looking to uh, do more work and get make uh, make the our customers lives easier and that's uh, really our goal I appreciate your time thanks a lot